The following contest is a steel cage match. Making her way to the ring from Boca Raton, Florida, Superstar. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just moments away from this gigantic steel cage match. And given the superstars involved, you can bet this one will be about as vicious and gruesome as it gets. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for our big steel cage match. And I know both of these superstars are supremely tough, but you'd have to assume they're experiencing some butterflies here as we wait for the opening bell. And here we go with what will undoubtedly be a thrilling steel cage match. Look at him, locked inside that cage like a couple of rabid animals. What a stomp! Good grief! Now, leapfrog. Oh, that's how you establish dominance. Oof. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, and a kick right to the hamstring. Leapfrog. Using the elbow as a weapon. What a stomp. Good grief. Uh-oh. She better do something fast. She somehow breaks free. But you have to wonder how much damage was done. The WWE Universe has seen the evolution of the steel cage in the enclosure known today as Hell in a Cell. The first time an enclosed cage was seen was in October of 1983 in the last battle of Atlanta. The enclosed cage was seen a few years later in the War Games match from the NWA. There were even cages stacked on top of each other like WCW's Tower of Doom. Byron, we talked about the progression of steel cage matches and the type of structures that have been spawned from them. I need to point out that some cages have been electrified. One was made from bamboo in the form of a Punjabi prison match. And of course, the elimination chamber with glass pods and steel doors. I think... Oh! <laughs> that creates a big opening here. That's the arm. Bang! Riot kick. She has got to take advantage here. You never want to be on the risk. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. She's not going away yet. Not yet. Oh, nasty impact. Harsh impact. Here comes trouble. You got that right, Cole.
The rivalry between Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude began during the Super Pose Down at the 1989 Royal Rumble. Then it progressed to where both superstars battled over the Intercontinental Championship. At SummerSlam 90, the rivals met inside a 15-foot-high steel cage for the WWE Championship. Victory could be achieved by pinfall or escape from the cage. Nailed it! Corey, the WWE Championship match between the Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude was the second half of the double main event at 1990 SummerSlam. The rivalry between the Warrior and the Ravishing One was so heated that no one knew what to expect once the two men were able to battle inside a steel cage, which at the time was the most grueling match in all of WWE. The Ultimate Warrior dominated early on with his incredible strength. Rick Rude, his steel cage match is in the books. These women put on quite a show. Here's another look. She's taking care of business. Every single minute of this one was memorable. Here is your winner, Sweetness. There's plenty of reason for celebration tonight. When you get a one-on-one -on -one match like that, you hate to see one of them come up short. But that's just the harsh reality of it. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive